Hey everyone, I know it's been a few weeks since I made a video. I have been crazy busy, both in my personal life and there's been so much going on in the world as well. It's been kind of hectic. I do plan on getting back to making videos pretty soon. I'm actually right now in the middle of recording a class for Horizon OTO, which is gonna go online on Wednesday. It's gonna be on the subject of magic and art and it's going to be on the Horizon YouTube channel. So I encourage you to take a look at that. I'll leave a link below. Um, I just wanted to take a break and pop on real fast to answer uh, a question that I just got the other day. It is from W. Alston Crosby. Uh, he asks me how I got started in and heard of Thalema, how long I've been practicing, and do I have any thoughts on Jack Parson and the show uh, Strange Angel? So the way that I got started in Thalema was, well, I first became interested in Aleister Crowley about seven years ago. I was familiar with ceremonial magic up until that point, but not so much with, with Crowley. And anything that I had heard about Crowley was kind of sketchy. But um, I had a friend who was really into Crowley, and he suggested that I read a biography of Crowley by Richard uh, Kaczynski called Perturabo. And so um, that summer I read Perturabo, and I thought it was just a really interesting story. Um, I thought Crowley was a really interesting, uh, kind of relevant figure. And I didn't really start getting heavily into Thelema until I joined OTO. That was about six years ago. Um, probably what I first became interested in was the Thoth Tarot. That's kind of what I started looking at. Um, I started practicing... Um, a ritual called uh, Libra Starte. Libra Starte is not a ritual so much as like a ritual structure for um, devotion to a deity. And so I began working with that shortly after um, becoming a member of OTO. And I just kind of gradually became more and more interested in Thelema and Crowley as, as time went on. But that was sort of how I uh, got into it. Um, let's see, how long have I been practicing? I've been practicing magic longer than that, probably more like eight years. Um, but I've had more of the sort of like Crowley Thalema focus for the last, I would say six years or so. Um, there's, there's plenty there to explore. It'll keep you occupied for, for a pretty long time. Um, let's see, thoughts on Jack Parsons. Uh, Jack Parsons is a really fascinating figure. Um, I actually did a talk on Jack Parsons uh, two summers ago at Horizon. We did not record it, um, but it was just basically like an overview of his life and his work and his experience with developing uh, solid fuel rockets. Um, if you're interested in his life, um, believe it or not, the Wikipedia article on him is actually okay. But I would suggest reading the biography Strange Angel by George Pendle. It's really, um, it goes into a lot of depth on his life. Um, yeah, Jack was really interesting. He was, um, he wrote this really interesting essay called, um, I think it's called Freedom is a Two-Edged Sword. And um, for the longest time, I had thought that it was a defense of libertarianism. And then when I did this Jack Parsons presentation two summers ago, I sat down and read it, and I was really surprised to find out that it was actually a defense of democracy, like representational democracy. Um, that's kind of interesting because Crowley himself was against democracy. He didn't, he didn't care for represent, like the kind of democracy that we have in the United States or Canada or in Europe where you elect officials and those representatives govern on, on your behalf. Yeah, he thought that that was like a really stupid way to uh, organize a, a society. And so that essay by Jack Parsons represents an application of Thelema as a defense of liberal democracy. So it's actually kind of a novel idea. I, I recommend taking taking a look at it. It's kind of, um, 
I think it's kind of underrated, honestly, and also misrepresented. So yeah, you should check that out. Um, as for the show Strange Angel, I made it through the first season and I need to emphasize that I made it through, like I white knuckled my way through it. Um, I thought it was an incredibly stupid show, honestly. The, some of the special effects were cool and the costumes were, were gorgeous and the sets were, were really cool and it wasn't acted poorly at all. Um, the story I thought was just incredibly stupid. Um, if The only way you could really enjoy Strange Angel is if you've never actually read about the life of Jack Parsons because like that show is really sort of, um, it, it's very much like a fantasy of what like magic and OTO was like back then when the reality was actually much stranger and much cooler in a way and a lot more interesting. Like the rocketry stuff on its own is way, way more interesting than fiction. You should definitely like just read about the rocketry and the development of um, solid fuel boosters and the work that was done on the Jados during World War II. Like that stuff is better than fiction, way better. Um, and the early OTO history is actually really fascinating too. Um, if you can get your hands on a book called The Unknown God by Martin Starr, uh, that's actually a book about Wilfred Smith, who was the uh, master of Agape Lodge in, um, first it was in Hollywood and then it was in, in Pasadena, California. Um, first OTO body on North American soil. Uh, that's a really interesting read. I say if you can get, a, get your hands on it, um, I think it's out of print and it's, it's a pretty expensive book. Um, if you have to find some way to borrow it from a library, a uh, really interesting read. And um, again, George Pendle's biography, Strange Angel, is a really fascinating read. Um, Sex and Rockets, it's got a great title. It's another biography of Jack Parsons. It's got a fantastic title and it looks really cool on your bookshelf. It's not as good as Strange Angel. I thought it got a little bit lurid toward the end, although it goes into a lot more depth on the magic that Jack did um, and the Babylon working and, and it kind of goes more into the nitty gritty of the, the, agical, the actual uh, magical operation. Whereas I feel like Strange Angel went more into like the rocketry stuff and went into, spent more time on like the interpersonal dynamics and, and the lodge and, and so forth. Um, there's also a really good biography of his um, second wife, Marjorie Cameron. I think it's called Wormwood Star. Um, that's a really sad story. She had a pretty messed up life. She was very like emotionally and mentally unstable and um, you know, Jack dying so young, blowing himself up didn't, help her mental state at all. Um, but she was a killer artist. I mean, just just really, really great. And her life story is pretty interesting as well. Um, it's a period of history, of, of our history, that I'm very interested in. So I've read a few books on it. And um, yeah, I would highly recommend any of that over that television show. I think it got canceled. It was probably just too expensive to make for, for what it was. I didn't make it through the second season. It was just like, it was, I mean, just eat, watching each episode was like an, like a like a work of endurance, like, you know, holding my hand over like the gas jet on a stove and just seeing how long I could hold it there without like pulling it away. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't worth it. Um, so yeah, those are that's that's my uh, answers to those questions. Uh, if you have any other questions, please um, ask them in the comments, and I will definitely get around to answering them uh, eventually. Um, especially once all of this work subsides, once I'm done with this class, and I've got a few other projects in the hopper that I'm working on, and I do want to make more videos for you guys because um, they're fun to make, and I enjoy connecting with all of you and hearing from you. So yeah. Uh, leave me comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I look forward to interacting with you all again very soon. Love is the law. Love under will. Peace.